let's move on to the AM transmitter now. But first, we will learn about the oscillator and power amplifier. Oscillator is a circuit which generates oscillation, that is, it generates different sinusoidal waveforms. Crystal oscillator is the type of oscillators primarily used in AM transmitters. Power amplifiers are primarily used to increase the signal strength before its transmission. We have three major power amplifiers as Class A, Class B and Class C power amplifier, which differ in their efficiency. All these amplifiers are basically bipolar junction transistors. In Class A amplifier, the collector current flows for the entire input signal. As this amplifier uses the entire input signal, its efficiency is low. In Class B amplifier, the collector current flows only for half of the input signal. As this amplifier makes use of only 50% of the input and produces the output, we get around 78-79% to 79 of efficiency. In Class C amplifier, the collector current flows for less than half of the input signal. That is, it gives efficiency of around 90%. Now, we can move on to learn AM transmitters which are of two types, high-level modulated transmitter and low-level modulated transmitter. We will first see high-level modulated transmitter. Its block diagram is as shown. Here, the crystal oscillator generates the carrier signal. It is then amplified by class C power amplifier. The modulating signal is also amplified to a higher power level before modulation. The modulation takes place in the last class C power amplifier. The modulated output is AM wave which is transmitted directly. The advantage of high level modulation is its high efficiency due to the use of class C power amplifiers. The disadvantage is large power amplifier is needed to raise the modulating signal to the desired power level. The next transmitter is low level modulated transmitter. Its block diagram is as shown. In low level modulating transmitter, also, the carrier signal is generated by RF oscillator. The modulator is separate block in this case. The modulating signal is amplified using class A amplifier. At the output of the modulator, we get the modulated wave. This modulated wave is then passed through a series of linear amplifiers to raise its power level. For low level transmitter, high power AF is not required for the modulated signal. Thus, its design is much simpler than the higher level transmitter. Now let's see the advantages and disadvantages and applications of amplitude modulation. Advantages of AM AM transmitters are less complex. AM receivers are simple. Detection is easy. AM waves can travel long distance. Low bandwidth. Disadvantages of AM. Power wastage takes place. AM gets affected due to noise. AM needs larger bandwidth. Applications of AM. Radio broadcasting. Picture transmission in TV system.